Hey everyone, it's Lily and today I'll be showing you one of my sketchbooks from a couple years ago. This one I did primarily in 2015. It was used mostly for my drawing two class. So yeah, we'll be checking it out and I haven't looked at this in a while, so let's get to it. I remember for my drawing two class, our first project was um, dealing with interiors or something, so I drew my living room. I don't know, kind of just a quick study, I guess. Around that time, I was super into Over the Garden Wall, so I drew some fan art for it. I still love Over the Garden Wall so much. Don't draw it too often anymore. We were doing a project um, with like ink washes and pen and ink, and so here's a bunch of different like here's a grayscale of darks to lights and then just some like stippling and cross hatching and different marks. Here's a drawing of a tree stump that I did. Here's a little witch girl that I drew. I think she's super cute. I like her crazy hair. This was for my life drawing class. We were supposed to draw a human skull and um, unfortunately it has really rubbed in this sketchbook. The uh, graphite's been rubbed around and so um, some of the contrast is gone. But yeah, I added some flies for like kind of a spoopy effect. Um, just some thumbnails for a watercolor piece. Here's um, my concept sketch for like, it was supposed to be um, like political activism drawings or something. So mine basically was, you know, a, a baby and then I, and then a mobile. And um, like all the things on the mobile are like uh, military gun and military stuff like fighter jets and a grenade and stuff. Yeah, I was basically trying to say like, you know, people going, getting sent off to war are so young, but practically children. Yeah, I don't know. And um, for another one of our summons, we were supposed to draw the same object in a bunch of different ways. And so I drew my pair of sunglasses and we were supposed to draw them in different mediums too. This one's in charcoal and I decided I wanted to make them into a GIF of it rotating also. I actually have that GIF, it's on my Tumblr. Uh, that's a thing that exists that I don't use anymore, but yeah, I don't know, maybe I'll, show that someday. <laughs> Some of the stuff on my tumbler. This one's watercolor pencil, pen and ink, Conte crayon, chalk pastel, acrylic paint, Crayola super tip markers, and just regular colored pencils. Oh, and I guess colored pencil again. Here are some treats that I drew for pie day. Got a key lime pie, strawberry pie, probably strawberry rhubarb, and just like the pie symbol as a cherry pie. Here's some kind of strange collage that we were supposed to do. I have a couple collages. Yeah, I don't know. This is like some weird like sci-fi, like, yeah, I have no clue. I don't know. <laughs> it's just a weird sci-fi thing. I can make up a story for it, I guess, but I have no clue. I guess. Well, this is supposed to be me down here. And then I'm, I love, oh man, I love me some sunsets and silhouetted trees. Oh yeah, that's my jam. And then like some kind of spirally thing and I don't know, just colors and textures, mountains, things that inspire me. And I put these little flo floating lanterns kind of like as like my thoughts. I don't know. Just kind of like some kind of progression of like going off into the atmosphere. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Here's another collage I did. This is also, oh yeah, like self-portrait or something. And uh, this is me also. This one's really cool. I actually like this one a lot. This would be pretty s sweet on a t-shirt or like as an album cover or something. I should make another one of these. That'd be super cool. Should make one like each year. It'd be pretty sweet. Um, oh, I love these. These are like my weird abstract shape 
object things. I love that stuff. Okay, so for another part of this sketchbook we were supposed to, we were given a word and we were supposed to draw a few drawings based on that word and mine was, I think it was celebrity. And so I decided to draw celebrities kind of like in st strange different ways people wouldn't really think about. So here's a drawing of Taylor Swift, but when you flip it right side up, her eyes are actually upside down. And it's kind of funny because like, you know, when she was upside down, your brain kind of filled in the gaps of her eyes being upside down and she looked normal. Yeah, I don't know. I thought that was pretty funny and I tricked my whole class because we put it up on a projector. I was like, hey, look at this. And I turned it upside down. They were like, what? It was great. <laughs> um, here's a drawing of Jared Leto. And I thought that his look, I guess in 2015, he looked really similar to like some kind of like Jesus figure. <laughs> so I drew him in the kind of... Um, with the, like the, the Byzantine religious art style kind of thing with their very elongated features and stuff. I like this drawing, I think it's funny. And I drew um, Albert Einstein, cause like what is a celebrity? A celebrity can, can be a, a physicist, why not? And so um, anyway, I drew Albert Einstein and his body is Taylor Lautner. He has Taylor Lautner's body. And I thought that was just funny for some reason. <laughs> like, I don't know, challenging what you think a celebrity is. Making some weird mashup, I don't know. I thought it was humorous. Um, again, with celebrities, I drew um, Abraham Lincoln because why can't a president be a celebrity? <laughs> and... <laughs> I drew Abraham Lincoln in some uh, street clothes. <laughs> I don't know, trying to modernize this person that lived so long ago. It's interesting. It was really fun. And then I did the opposite and I drew Lana Del Rey as a 20s flapper, which I mean, I feel like that's really, it fits her. She's really like, I don't know, she has a lot of that kind of like classic Hollywood kind of glamour thing going on. So yeah, I like this one. I like how it turned out. Um, here is an unfinished sketch of quote from Cave Story. It's kind of not very good. And then here's an unfinished sketch of Curly from Cave Story. Ooh, I love this one. I guess this is when I started drawing like funny little animals in kind of surrealist settings. I wish my, my refrigerator would shut up so I could say things. Anyway, um, it's Mont Saint Miss Snail, get it? Yeah, it's a snail and its shell is Mont Saint Michel. Here's a little owl character that I drew and uh, I like this owl character, should draw, redraw, should do a redraw there. Probably wouldn't change much though, I don't know. Um, I drew some kind of circus robot lady thing. Like, looking back at this now, it reminds me of something from like Five Nights at Freddy's sister location, even though I drew this in like 2015, so that game wasn't out yet. But yeah, pretty, pretty interesting. My sister hates it, it creeped her out. Um, here's a drawing of, um, yeah, drawing of, of Graham from King's Quest, the, the, the uh, new one that came out. I, me and my sister are playing that. Really great game. I, haven't, I still haven't finished it. I have the last chapter to go, but I just haven't finished it. I need to finish it. But yeah, I'm a big King's Quest fan. Um, yeah, so there's Graham. I think I was talking to my friends about like the new Pokemon that were coming out. And this must have been X and Y, I think at the time and um, somehow we got into the discussion that like all you need to make a Pokemon is like a potato, some radiation and pants. So I drew that. I drew his um, evolved form too. I think because you know, everything evolves into a fighter type. So haha, it's a joke. Uh, 
Yeah, so then he's a fighting potato poison. Probably poison fighting type pota potato like Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, oh, I redrew that little strawberry guy. Oh my gosh. I love him so much. Uh, here's some kind of crappy ink sketch of a kid. Cold, cold little child. She has some hot chocolate. And another crappy little drawing of a moth girl. I don't know where my art skills were at this time. Um, this is my one drawing of Inktober that I did. That I only did one drawing that year, and it was this one. But I like this one. It's pretty cute. Uh, here's some kind of design idea that I had in my brain. I don't know, maybe I'll draw that someday. Probably not. Naps to look from uh, Undertale. Some kind of hair girl. I think this was actually Inktober also. Okay, just kidding. I had a couple drawings from Inktober. I don't know. Here's um, like a steampunk flapper. She has a gas mask on. Here's a drawing. I used myself as a reference because the easiest reference is yourself. Uh, gnome, floating head with a floating gnome. Oh, well, okay, well. This is from, from uh, Inktober of last year. I did a few days and then I stopped. This one's Divide and got featuring my hands mans. I like them. Um, the next one was Poison and I was gonna do some kind of something again with the hands mans, but I ended up just drawing at I ended up just drawing Cusco's Poison from Emperor's New Groove because I had no other ideas. And I think that's it. And yeah, so that's that. Thanks for watching this video and seeing some more of my art from a few years ago and walking down memory lane with me. And I hope you have a great week. I'll see you in my next video. And okay, bye. I'll see you later. Bye.